2023 Chevrolet Colorado First Drive, one of the best midsizers asserts itself. Like the old saying, always a bridesmaid, never a bride, the Chevrolet Colorado midsize pickup has perpetually found itself to be a sort of wallflower in the public imagination. Never mind that the outgoing truck essentially shares the top spot in our ultimate car rankings for the midsize class with its mechanical twin, the GMC Canyon. The unassuming Chevy chases the Toyota Tacoma for the top spot on the sales chart, and isn't as interesting as Jeep's Gladiator or refined as Honda's car-based Ridgeline. It's just kind of, there. The all-new third-generation Colorado arriving for the 2023 model year, actually tries to stand out while keeping the old truck's essential excellence intact. What's new? Literally everything. When Chevrolet introduced the second-generation Colorado in 2015, the company marketed it as an all-new pickup. In reality, it was a new-to-North America take on a truck General Motors had been selling in global markets since 2011. The automaker upgraded the chassis from the version sold in Thailand and South America and such, so as to match American customers' use cases. But the old Colorado simply looked old, even when it was new here in America, mostly because it was. Consider the bar for the third-generation truck pictured here, then, rather low. Chevy clears it easily, however, with a truly all-new truck. The 2023 Colorado starts with a new frame derived from the larger Silverado 1500. Relative to the old Colorado, this one's front axle is moved forward, stretching the wheelbase by 3.1 inches and decreasing the front overhang. The new six-lug wheel bolt pattern also is pulled down from the Silverado, opening up a world of beefy aftermarket wheel choices to customers. From the factory, there is a newfound focus on off-road capability, and more than half the lineup is now made up of off-road variants, such that there are two available track widths and three different ride heights on offer. Chevy contracts choices when it comes to cab and bed length options, however. Gone are the old extended cab and long bed options, the new Colorado is offered only in a crew cab, short bed configuration. Chevrolet also mercifully axed the former Colorado's soft and bubbly exterior in favor of a blocky style with squared-off fender bulges, rugged design cues, and a front fascia that is more Silverado-like in nature. Each of the five trim levels wears a unique grille design. The interior has been fully refreshed as well, featuring a new dashboard with prominent, Camaro-like round outboard air vents. Also like Chevy's pony car, there are rectangular inboard vents tucked low on the dash, at knee height. Further helping banish the previous Colorado's rental-grade innards is the high-resolution 11.3-inch infotainment screen standard across the lineup. It includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and accompanies an 8.0-inch fully digital gauge cluster. All 2023 Colorado pickups also come standard with Chevy Safety Assist, the safety suite with forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, automatic front pedestrian braking, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, following distance indicator, and IntelliBeam automatic high beam assist. Also available on all trims, including the entry-level work truck, WT, are features such as adaptive cruise control, blind zone steering assist, rear cross traffic braking, rear pedestrian alert, and HD surround vision with up to 10 camera views. One engine, three distinct flavors. While the second-generation Colorado was sold with three engine options, including a 2.5-liter i4, 3.6-liter V6, and a 2.8-liter Duramax turbo diesel i4, every new 2023 Colorado comes fitted with the same gas-fed turbocharged 2.7-liter i4, plucked from the Silverado's engine family. If this strategy sounds familiar, it's because Ford also sells the Ranger with a single-turbo i4 engine. Chevy puts a twist on the concept, however, giving choice lovers three power outputs to pick from. The base spec, dubbed Turbo, is standard on Colorado WT and LT trims, where it produces 237 horsepower and 259 lbft of torque. In the mid-level slot is the Turbo Plus, which turns out 310 horsepower and 390 lbft. This version is standard on Colorado Z71 and Trail Boss trims, and optional for WT and LT. At the top end is the Turbo High Output Tune, which is standard on range-topping Colorado ZR2, 
and pumps out 310 horsepower and a mighty 430 lb-ft. Customers who opt for trims with the Turbo Plus engine can fee $395 to their local Chevy dealer for an ECU flash that'll bump the torque output to the same 430 lb-ft as the ZR2's exclusive high-output engine. That's right, customers opting for a base WT can upgrade to the Turbo Plus engine for just $1,185, then shell out under $400 more for a quick software update and drive home in a steel wheel, basic pickup with 430 lbft of torque for less than $32,000. Where do we sign up? Since the 2.7 liters introduction in the Silverado in 2019, Chevrolet says more than 300,000 of the engines have been put into service. This newest generation improves upon the original design with a forged steel crankshaft, forged main bearing caps, trimetal rod bearings, a stronger aluminum block with nodular iron cylinder sleeves, and newly designed cast aluminum pistons that feature an iron ring carrier and PV decoder iron top ring. High output engines produce up to 27 psi of turbo boost pressure, while the base and plus make 10 and 20 psi, respectively. All three power output levels are achieved on standard 87-octane fuel. Bring on the horsepower! Chevy graciously made Colorados equipped with all three engine variants available for us to drive in the hill country outside of San Diego, California. Our first interaction was with the Colorado WT equipped with the base engine. Unladen Highway Cruising revealed the engine's 237 horsepower and 259 lb-ft to be perfectly adequate, giving a driving feel reminiscent of the outgoing entry-level 2.5-liter engine. It won't win any stoplight races, but for trips to the home store or loaded down with a bed full of tools and equipment it would be sufficient. We did notice that this truck had more engine noise than the other models, which Chevy engineers confirmed. Costs were cut by removing some of the sound and vibration deadening materials that the Turbo Plus and high output engines have. The 8 speed transmission behind the base engine is also different a smaller and lighter 8L45 automatic, versus the new 8L80 used behind the higher output mills. Next, we moved into an LT model, followed by the Trail Boss, both with the Turbo Plus engine. The mid level engine is noticeably more powerful, producing gobs of torque right off idle. Torque peaks at 3,000 RPM versus the base engine's 5,600 RPM Everest. It's also a fair bit quieter, though Chevy does add a tasteful amount of audio augmentation to the sounds heard in the cabin. Underway, the Turbo Plus engine quickly propels the 2023 Colorado up to the posted speed limit and makes passing slower traffic easy. The truck's transmission shifts quickly and always appears to find the correct gear for the speed and situation. Despite not featuring a sport drive mode, we found that the combination of immense torque and precise shifting allowed us to push the truck harder and faster through twisty mountain roads than we would anticipated. And now for the bummer, Chevy didn't have a top-spec ZR2 model for us to sample. We're looking forward to the hardcore off-roader, but luckily, the automaker did bring along a few Turbo Plus-equipped Colorados with that dealer-offered engine flash. Which is how we found ourselves sampling the 430 lb feet turbo high output engine, in effect, in a Colorado Z71. The only real indication from the driver's seat that the flashed engine was producing 40 additional lbft of twist was a greater propensity for the rear tires to spin while leaving a stop with gusto. While we're confident that the bonus torque would aid in towing and hauling, at least the upgrade is cheap at $395, seems worth it just for the bragging rights alone. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.